dude. That reminds me of when I first fell in love. I had just finished my food call. <laughs> So pleased to finally meet you, Spider-Man. You're Nick Fury. Really? Do I look like Nick Fury? What, just because I'm wearing an eye patch, sitting in the dark in a turtleneck, a full-length leather jacket, holding a gun? <laughs> Is he gonna be okay like that? Uh, hell if I know. I found this thing in the minibar. Hey guys, welcome to Film Learning, the show dedicated to learning you some filmmaking and learn you good. And welcome back to another episode of Insert Yourself. Now this time around we're going to be taking the role of, you guessed it, Nick Fury from the Spider-Man Far From Home trailer. Man, these turtlenecks really are quite unflattering to the old double chin. Check it out, Kingpin from Spider-Verse. <laughs> anyway, in order to complete this effect, you need to shoot your actor on a green screen in a couple of different shots. For the first shot, you just want them sitting down. You can have their legs crossed and just have them holding a gun, just pointing off to one side, just like in the example here. Now, one thing I will recommend is that you sit on a stool or just some sort of chair that doesn't have a back. In fact, here's my stool sample right here. Get it? It's a poo. My God. Now as we cut back to that shot, you're also going to need to finish your line and stand up just like Samuel L. Jackson does in the trailer. Now in the next shot where Peter's asking if his friend's going to be okay, all you're going to be doing is just standing there looking around basically. Now in the final shot, it's just sort of a medium shot of yourself and you're just delivering a line. Now if you notice in the start, I also cut to some close-ups and that was basically just to make these shots last a bit longer. And I've also created those backgrounds for you to download in the pack. And speaking of downloads, all you have to do is head to filmlearner.com slash downloads and grab the Spider-Man Far From Home download pack which contains all the blank backgrounds that I've painted Samuel L. Jackson out of except for this one right here and there's not much we can do here guys because he puts his face in front of Peter's so all we're going to do in this shot is just put our actor in front of him and just sort of cover him up now you got all that well let's get to work shall we okay guys so here we are in After Effects and as you can see I've got two shots all here in comps ready to go now at the moment I've only just got the raw file and you might just notice that I've got a little bit of scaling happening in this particular shot and that's mainly because it moves slightly this shot so you can just see in the background that it moves slightly so all I've just done is a 100 to 101 percent scale very very subtle you barely even notice it so one thing you might also notice is that I've matched the lighting in the scene so if I turn me off you can see there's a lamp behind me and if you notice I've also got some yellow that's coming through from the back of me and that was just me setting up a yellow light uh, just on the off side of the green screen so it's important to really match the light to your shot as well gang and you'll notice that if we go to this section here you can see that I've got a little bit of yellow cast off light because in this shot the lamp is directly there so the biggest thing with these particular shots is you're just trying to match the color grading because at the moment this is just the raw file I've already keyed out the actor but we need to color correct this so it suits the shot now what I've also done here is all I've done is just add a black solid and I've just brought it down so it cuts off the actor there so we've still got the widescreen bars in place so all we're gonna do guys is just select our actor head up to effect go all the way down to magic bullet and go color to four because this is my color corrector of choice and I'm just going to perform a really quick color correction I've spent a lot more time on this when I actually did the short but we'll just do a quick one right now so what I'm going to do is I'm firstly going to crush the highlights down so it's supposed to be sort of in the shadows a little bit and then I'm also going to give them a little bit of warmth so already you can see something's happening then I'm also going to bring the mid-tones down a little bit and I'll give them a little bit of red. And then lastly, I'm going to bring the shadows down a little bit and I'm just going to introduce a little bit of turquoise. So you can see that's the beginning of the shot, that's the after. So you can see it's a pretty dramatic difference and that took what? A minute? Now we can also play with the color temperature a little bit maybe introduce just a little bit of blue and look we can also do things like lower the saturation a little bit but not too much 
But you can see that actually looks pretty good. That's pretty well integrated into the shot already. So what we can also do is we can also add up a, um, a shadow just cast to that chair. So what I'm going to do is just duplicate my footage, click on the bottom layer, and I'm just going to delete that color correction. I'm just going to head to effect, perspective, drop shadow, and I'm just going to click shadow only. And because the light source is coming from this side, I'm just going to give that shadow a little bit of distance. Not a lot because we're sitting pretty close to the chair. And then we'll just increase the softness. Just so there's a light shadow, we might bring up the opacity on that one too. Okay, so you can see it's just a light shadow. But what's also happening is we're getting shadow cast around the entire thing. So what we're going to do is limit that to the chair just by drawing a very rough mask just here and bam okay so we've now integrated that into our shot and we've got a light little shadow just there so that shot is basically done now easy thing is we've now got that color grade done so all we're going to do is just grab it hit control c go to our next shot and just paste it on in done pretty easy huh as long as you match the lighting to the scene and you get that color grade done and you're happy with it the first time, you can just copy and paste it onto as many shots as you like and you're all done. Add up all those steps and you get something like this. So pleased to finally meet you, Spider-Man. So guys, that is the latest episode of Insert Yourself tackling the Spider-Man Far From Home trailer. Now guys, if you do have a request, make sure you leave it in the comment section. I read them all. But for now guys, that's all I got for you. We will be back with a live stream later in the week and then we're actually going on a bit of a break and I'll explain why in the live stream I'm actually going up to Sydney to the Google HQ for another YouTube event and I've really just got to get ready for that. So Filmlinen will be off for say two weeks. So I'll be back after two weeks, rip raring and ready to go. But as always guys, if you did enjoy this episode, please smash that like button. I really do appreciate it. And hey, if you are new here, hit that subscribe button below and turn those notifications on so you don't miss a single film learning episode. I've got the two other episodes of Insert Yourself right over here. I've got my social media crap above my head with the Facebook and the Twitter and the Instagram and the Patreon there if you want to support the channel. And also, if you want to support the channel directly on YouTube, you can hit that join button below. But until I see you again, guys, keep learning!